On the table, we are diving deeper into the phenomenon known as flush force. Diving deeper? I wouldn't use those words. Alright, let's instead bury our faces below the lid and look around for flushies. I think I'm gonna be sick. We have briefly already seen a little bit of flush force before. You may recall we found these two flushies during the Poopies Minis toy review. I thought I'd throw in some flush force at the time to compare. Turns out I think the flush force are far superior and far less revolting. So I thought it important to try out a few more of these toilets, especially how I kind of bungled the flush to reveal technology of last time. So let's run through some of these great flush force toys and see how many unique characters we can uncover from within inside the toilet bowl. I think I'm done here. Most of your Flush Force Series 1 flushies will be contained within these tiny toilets. They are sold in various different ways, either by themselves or in larger multi-packs. Again, I'm not exactly sure how I messed up so poorly on the first opening, as the instructions are pretty clear. Done here. You may use this one now. Thank you, Blueberry. Whoa, I am Blueberry. There is not only step by step instructions on the little tag included with your tiny toilet, there is also instructions underneath the toilet seat. So, hopefully, now by paying complete attention, we'll get this right. The first thing to do is remove the back tank lid. And inside you will find a guide of all your flushies. Kind of gets stuck in there. As always with these minis collections, there are a lot to collect. Squirmin' vermin, gruesome twosomes, scuzzy fuzzies, grimy grubs, dump divers mean munchies, putrid parts mean greens, clean freaks, foul floaters, and street freaks. And of course we're dealing with common rare, ultra rare, but this time it's single flusher, double flusher, triple flusher, clogger, unflushable, and exclusives. Try and dunk your head into that whirlpool. Alright, I think we're set to go, ready to fill up with some water. You may want to have some towels and stuff standing by, and it looks like there's warning labels that say this stuff might possibly stain or dye things, so be careful. Luckily, the measuring cup I'm using is very drippy. So once you fill up your toilet, cover back up, and give it a shake. Probably should remove this lid so we can see what's going on too. Ah, that is foully disgusting. Flush to reveal technology, eh? I'm guessing that's about it. Now you can remove the final seal. It helps avoid major splashage. And there we go. Very slimy. I have a character that's very similar from before. And another guy that I haven't seen yet. Oh, that almost looks like a cherry bomb from Plants vs. Zombies. Uncovered we have, from the gruesome twosomes, Beak Freak, a single flusher. And from the grimy grubs, Scary Cherry, a double flusher. And kind of creepy how Blueberry was on that very toilet. The designs of these flushies are pretty colorful and sharp. I would say they're cut a little more edgy than what we would see with the grocery gang. There is a little bit of sharp angles to these characters versus the softer look of the grocery gang. And the paint on these guys is pretty good too, making them look pretty lively. Before we flush a few more out, let's open up this Flushies 5 pack. Looks to include another toilet plus three Flushies up on top, two of them hidden. And on the back of the box, more solid instructions on the Shake to Reveal technology. So let's remove from package and see what Flushies we can find. 
This guy was pretty obvious as we saw through the package. A Squirmin Vermin Grouty Grubs. A single flusher. Brown like bug with a little bit of green overspray. What would be underneath these toilet lids? Our first would be something from the Grimy Grubs. Looks like a Crawlberry, a double flusher. I had nothing to do with it. And over in this one, we found a looks to be another Squirmin Vermin, a Farty McFly, a single flusher. It looks like each group also has a different ability which I'm just figuring out. The squirm and vermins are extra squishy. Whereas the grimy grubs, they have a color change ability. Interesting. Shall we reveal a few more toilets? I think we're ready to go. I left all the main seals on the toilet lids to avoid splashing. Whoops, can't forget the guides. Don't want to get those wet. All right, kind of a pain to get those out. All right, let's see what's inside these things. Can we reveal any of these yet? Can you see what's inside? I used cold water on these. I'm not sure if warm water would enhance the fastness of the reveal. It looks like the center kind of wears away pretty fastly while the sides are less to expose the green gunk. Definitely a novel idea for opening a blind figure container. Well, let's see what's inside blue first. Wow, that is tight. Maybe not. Let's see what's in green. There we go. Blue is super stuck right now. Ew. Oh, this one's cool though. Is that like a shark guy? Another double-headed creature. And... Another looking like grub guy. Who do we got here? So we have gruesome twosomes, juicy jaws, a double flusher, and another squirmin vermin, monstrous maggot, a single flusher. What do we got inside the purple one here? Ew. Eww. Ooh. I'm liking these. Something from Street Freaks. Snake rattle and roll. So we have a snake inside a parking meter, it looks like. And that would be a triple flusher, nice. And I think this guy's from the Grimy Grubs. Looks like it is a splits. Another triple flusher. So we did well on that toilet reveal. Now I just have to figure out how to get this blue cover off. It was tight. I might need a pliers. Guess we'll just use the scissors here. I don't know, you might be able to remove these before. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've done it that way. These are really jammed in there. Gonna have to really use all the power of the flush force. Finally. What is that? Whoa. Very yucky. Kind of like an octopus stuck in a jar of jelly, it says. I like that one. And another possible grub. So yeah, this would be another squirmin vermin, a roach coach, single flusher. Funny how many of these I've found from that group. Finally, something different though from the Dump Divers, a smelly jelly. That would be smelly jelly right there. Squish, squish. So that's pretty much as messy of an opening as you're gonna ever get. Found some good ones in there for sure though. I like when there's a huge variety of minis to find as it's much harder to run into repeats early on. I think it's all about smelly jelly in this opening. Once you've collected enough Flush Force Flushies, you're going to need somewhere to keep them flushed. So here we have the Flush Force Collectable. Get it? Collectable? 
That's great. That's really great. This thing apparently will hold 50 flushies, and it also includes four exclusive foul floaters. Oh, and of course, this thing has sound effects. How mature we have all become. Well, let's open this up and see what we can find inside. All right, that was an intense opening. That box was nailed down solid. So outside of the box, we have the toilet and inside pretty much just a big bowl of storage area for your flushies. That's where these uh, special characters were. Just kind of sitting inside there. Looks like the back part of the bowl is all meant for the sound effect feature here. It's a pretty loud effect. There's the little speaker. That's just great. So now I've got something for Barbie to work with. Meanwhile, inside all these little bags, let's find out what we have here. Ah! Some sort of cat. Mermaid cat. Oh, of course. A catfish. Very clever. Ooh, a puffer fish. Nice and spiny. I collected a bunch of puffer fish the other day in Minecraft, trying to do the water breathing potion thingy. Bullfish is the name, a clogger, which would be exclusive. These guys get really stuck. Ugh. What is this? Some sort of seal. <laughs> Flippy blowhole. Nice, I like the pirate patch on it. And last one here. Oh, right on. This one might be one of the best ones from the box. Raging Cajun. All right, let's see if we can get these guys to float. Here's some recycled water from the toilets. Oh, that is just great. Drop in catfish. It floats! Puffer fish. Floats. Raging Cajun. Floats. Flippy blowhole. Floats. Well, what doesn't float? Does this guy float? Oh, he goes right to the bottom, huh? That's funny. So there you go. The floaters do float in water. Disgusting water. Looks like we have one more pack to open today. We have the Flush Force Series 1 Bizarre Bathroom Pack. Looks like a two toilet pack with a few other figures hidden inside a urinal. Oh, that's classy. On the back of the pack, images of the flushies to collect out there. Some of these are so creatively weird. Lots of fine print too. Let's remove these potties from the stalls and see what we can find. And there we go. If you're careful, you can kind of preserve the stalls here. They're little flimsy cardboard cutouts, but that's kind of interesting and fun. Hope to keep those for a while. So what do we have here? We've got a little urinal container with a couple characters already shown. So we have something from the Clean Freaks. That would be my first, I think, from that group. Sour Suds, a single flusher. Wonder if the guy knows about the clean team. And yet another Squirm and Vermin. We have a double flusher dung digger. I can't believe how many Squirm and Vermins I've found today. I wonder if they're a little more common. I mean, obviously I saw this one on the package, so there it is, but. Well, now we've got this urinal thing to open up. And finally, after all these openings, I have found my first repeat Back to the gruesome twosomes with the turd bird. Yes, now I have two gruesome twosomes turd birds. Gruesome twosomes are kind of a weird one, aren't they? I'm not sure I totally dig them, except for maybe the two-headed dogs. Well, the two-headed shark was pretty cool. And in some way, this was also another repeat, but at least it is a different paint style. We have a raw claw from the foul floaters. Must be a cousin of Ragin' Cajun. These guys are two of my most favorites, though, just because of those arms reaching out from the toilet. Looks great. So we have two more potties to open up. I think this time I'm actually gonna try it without this uh, seal on and test my luck. I think you could do it this way. I'm just trying to avoid splashing up my set. Well, let's do them both. Let's live adventurous. When I originally got these, remember I just tore out the bottom, and you can do that if you don't want to use water. Now let's bring out some more of this reused toilet water. Oops. 
Whoa! What a mess. I kind of overspilled and that kind of got it going a little early. It's kind of bubbling up this time. There's a little bit of uh, pressure going on. I hope it doesn't explode on me. Ugh, that's disgusting. What do we got here? I've got water all over the set. Two more guys. Oh no, not another one of those. Another farty McFly. Which I guess if I get enough of these squirmin' vermin, maybe I'll hide them in ice cubes over the summer. And I think this is another squirmin' vermin. A roly moldy. A double flusher. I almost have all the squirmin' vermins. That's really funny. I do like this guy better than many of the other squirmin' vermins. He stands well, good color. So not a bad find. Okay, final flush force of the day. Again, we've removed the plastic. It is a little more fun this way. It is a little more oozy, a little more messy, so you can kind of pick what you want to do. Either keep it covered or not. I keep spilling over though, and that kind of ruins the fun. Oh, it did it again. I love it. It just explodes out. Not much shaking involved in this way. And there we go. Oh, what a mess. Well, that's new. And that's new. Oh, this might be one of the fuzzy ones. Awesome, it's a little rat. So this pink greenish guy is Ugly Sluggies. Another gruesome twosome. I wasn't sure on that. It took me forever to find him. I didn't realize there's a second head there. Kind of thought he was going to be in the uh, grimy grubs. But this one here is a great one to end off on from the scuzzy fuzzies. The Opossum, a triple flusher. And believe it or not, this guy is fuzzy and flocked. Funny how it's able to survive the flush. Maybe we'll dry him up here a little bit. And the fuzziness is kind of graying up a little bit, a little white on him. Oh, that is so cool. I gotta find more of these ones. Well, there we have many of the flushies we have flushed out today. A swirly of terrific characters, indeed. Kind of overdid it on the squirmin' vermin today. I don't think I've seen any mean munchies yet. Only one dump diver. And only one clean freak. And it looks like if you pick up one of those giant collectibles, that's exactly what you're going to get because those four foul floaters are on the instructions. I might have to special order a hurl squirrel somehow because that one is incredible. Speaking of Hurl Squirrel, I just drank some of that recycled toilet water. Ah! Oh, poor Landry. Flush Force Series 1 arrives on store shelves January 2018 with toilet single packs running approximately $3.99, larger packs running from five to 10. There's a variety of ways to find a flushy. If you enjoy collecting blind minis, this is an interesting one, especially with the water involved. Just make sure to wash your hands after each flush, or you might contract something entirely disgusting. That's what I have to say about that. Cavemen used to splash water on trees to see if squirrels would come out. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. We have a double flusher dung dinger. <laughs> Looks like we have one more pack to open today. We have the... 